is the energy vibration lesson for the sun moon and rising um, sign for the scorpions uh, this is the month of February I want to say thank you for your like shares and support um, thank you for all the wonderful messages and the support if you'd like to have a private reading you can always use the link below that takes you to the booking um, page on my website okay um, uh, this is a general reading don't forget please remember to listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign it's going to be a positive positive um, energy in the month because the month is the wheel of fortune it is a fire sign you have the energy of the hang man okay you have the energy of the hangman so it's a very um, peaceful a month for you because you are going to be um, looking and uh, at yourself and uh, balancing out certain aspects of yourself so you're not going to get involved with a lot of people and that sort of a thing it's mostly from work to home and you know and study to home whatever you do it's going to be a peaceful um, a month so let's see what is going to be happening first week is the air energy of the hair second week is the um, from the second week you'll be feeling much better this month has four weeks so we're calling up on the angels of the scorpions and the ascendants masters and the universal angels to show us what is the energy for the scorpions in the month of February the first week the general energy for the first week of February is the energy of the tower and you guys have the energy of the moon so this is a very very wonderful because what is happening here is that the tower remove a situation so that you could see clearly the energy of the moon is your energy because what it does is bring clarity to other people and it's bringing clarity to you in the first week so a whole lot of clarity coming up for you scorpions in the first week so if there was a situation that was not clear the clarity is coming up in the second week as we move forward and we're looking at certain situation we're going to look at the second week and the second week is the general energies of the star and you guys have the energy of the ten of wands you guys have the energy of the ten of wands this energy of the ten of wands could be endings to a lot of situation that has been happening that you weren't aware of and new beginnings coming in okay so this is an ending uh, to a situation that you weren't seeing clearly as we look at the third week because the energy of the star bring this so the energy of the star working with the ten of ones is really ending okay because the energy of the star is bringing information and situation that you weren't seeing clearly to you and bringing them to an end as we look at the third week the energy of the third week is the energy of the moon so let's see what the moon is bringing in for you guys the hermit and not a water sign that is helping you the moon and the hermit so the hermit is coming in to shed a light on you on something that you have done to shed a light and let you see that you know you weren't really vibrating in a good energy vibration it's letting you see yourself for something that you have done that was not really um, nice okay so um, obviously uh, there is an ending of a situation obviously there is an ending of a situation that is happening okay so let's move on and see um, the fourth week and what is happening in the fourth week in the energy vibration in the fourth week the energy of the Sun comes out let's see what you cancers in your you scorpion has you have a strong foundation you have a strong foundation this is good so what is happening is that you have um, the energy of the hangman the energy of the hangman it is a water energy that is carrying you through this month and you have the energy of the moon that is supporting you the ten of ones which whatever that you weren't seeing is coming to an end the energy of the hermit is there and the energy of the four of ones so what it is that you weren't seeing um, um, clearly that is coming to an end um, the family the situation so it's all about family so in the first and second week there is a situation that wasn't clear and it's coming to an end because now you're seeing what has transpired this is health for some people so uh, maybe some people were having um, they weren't feeling well and they weren't 
um, understanding what was happening to them and finally um, they went to the doctor or something like that or they went and look it up and they understand that it is a situation a karmatic situation something that is coming in from the family because the roots are there the roots are there so it can be a family sickness or something that is coming in for other people it's going to be a situation that has been happening because um, it's a wheel of karma so it's a karmatic situation that you were born in a family and you're finding out things about your family that you weren't aware of before okay oh uh, oh god I know how that can be Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> so, um, a, a, a clarity is coming to a situation with your family. Um, you're seeing them and you're going to hand this. You're going to hand this because you're seeing an hearing situation. You're seeing uh, something about your family, what they have done. Okay, let's move forward and look and see what the Ten of Wands and the Hermit is saying to you. The daughter of Pentacles the daughter of Pentacles okay so what is happening for um, some of you who are between the ages of 18 and 40 you're going to be um, connecting and um, something is going to be um, open it up to show you um, you know you're connecting with someone who is um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn this is someone between the ages of 18 and 40 and you a scorpion will be connecting with them and you're going to realize um, they're going to give you information about your family they're going to bring information to you about your family okay whatever burdens that you have been carrying this person who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and it's a female energy is going to come in and give you information and let you in on something that you weren't aware about your family okay as we move on um, um, the energy of the hermit in the third week and the fourth week with a strong foundation the father of swords come in this is all about family people all about family all about family so you have a strong foundation over the father of swords so um, what I'm receiving is that some of you scorpions are going to receive information that is going to come in via someone who is between the ages of 18 and 40 about your father or stepfather or adopted father and this is going to give you a strong foundation over this person because you're going to find out something about this man because it is um, for some of you is your father for some of you is your stepfather and for some of you is your adopted father or some yeah adopted father some of you could be your godfather also so um, a lot of you are going to be finding out information and it has something as as if um, uh, for some of you you are going to find out that you have a sister and um, and your father has never said anything about it some of you are going to find out that he has other children outside and he has never said anything about it and you're going to have a very strong it's as if you're going to have a very strong stand over him because it's as if he has been controlling your life for ever since and information is going to be coming out so this daughter of Pentacles this you are going to meet this girl is as if you got connected on the internet or someone come up to you and said you know do you know so and so is my father that sort of a thing because this is going to happen to some of you guys this is going to be happening um, the other energy that is here is that there is a rooted situation in a family situation for some people it's health and your health is you're going to find out the cause of an ailment that you have you're going to find out the cause of an ailment that you have and here you are going to be seeing a lot of information is going to be coming out you are also 
some people are going to receive a lot of information about your father some people could be connecting with their father in the spirit world and their father is helping them to bring forth information that they weren't aware of so this is good it's all about um, your family in this month of February information is going to be coming at you um, so let's look and see what is this family connection with the daughter of Pentacles five of swords five of swords so some of you are going to be having a conflicts with this um, person who is a Pentacles this is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and it is it could be your sister you could realize that it is your sister and um, the end of a conflict is going to finally come so if you have someone who you found out is your sister or your sister if you have been having um, a situation with someone who is um, the um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn between the ages of 18 and 40 a family situation whatever conflicts it is it's going to finally come to an end let's see what is happening with the daughter of Pentacles and her father um, the ten of swords is going to be um, the energy of the ten of swords you're going to see a situation a lies so you have the energy of the ten of swords um, a lies that is coming out there are lies that is coming out the hermit the daughter of Pentacles uh, lies about the father okay and there is regrets that is happening okay regrets that is happening okay let's put that at the side and let's see what is the outcomes to as the to this um, what is the outcomes to the scorpion what is the outcomes to the scorpion as the regrets What is the regrets to the scorpion? Uh, what is the regrets? What is the outcome? The outcome is the father of pentacles. Wow. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful. Okay. Wow. Outcomes is the father of pentacles. The Father of Pentacles, the outcome is the Father of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. It is clear. I am not sure if you guys understand what is going on here, but it is obviously clear. Okay. <clears throat> what has happened is um, the Father of Pentacles. The outcome is the Father of Pentacles. Okay. What has happened? This is obviously. Um, a situation a karmatic situation okay this karmatic situation as I said this is going to affect you people um, it's going to affect you people because the energy is um, it's all about your father there is a situation about your father your stepfather your godfather um, your adopted father okay um, for some people some people it's about your health as I look at this section with your health um, there is a situation there is light being seen to a, a situation uh, a health situation and you're going to find out something about your health and then there is going to be a situation where you have to make a decision there is um, a lot of um, a lot of um, research that is going on there is a lot of stuff as if you have to take a lot of tests and all of that because you're trying to find out a situation and that uh, came that L problem came from your father and <clears throat> and this is what I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that is happening um, the situation came from your father that L situation came 
from your father okay so it's as if you um, realize that there is a health situation and you're um, doing tests and all of this sort of things and you're re realizing that it came from your father okay so we are looking forward the um, it's, it's as if the focus of your reading is all about this um, young woman or maybe a man that is um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and this person is shedding a light on a certain situation about either your adopted father or your stepfather or the, your godfather or your father-in-law or something but this little girl is shedding light on a situation about your um, adopted father it could be your father also and there is regrets there is you are having so much regrets about the situation okay it's all about the masculine energy in your life it's all about your father it's all about the masculine energy in your life the energy of the ten of ones and the ten of swords is here and the energy the the daughter of Pentacles the young person lies about information or um, stab you in the back about information with either your father your stepfather who is an Aquarius and Sagitta an Aquarius a Gemini of a Libra okay this young person whoever she is lies and uh, tell lies and whatever and this older man mm, 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 mm. And, it, and and this this is all happening in the third week okay in the third week this is all happening what is happening in the third week is that you are going to meet someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn a young person this young person is going to um, um, give you or tell you uh, things about your either father stepfather father-in-law or something but this person is someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra mm -hmm. and you have a, a it's going to bring you a lot of regrets the five of cups okay it's gonna bring you a lot of regrets a lot of regrets but as we look forward there is going to be conflicts and lies conflicts and lies there there there, there are conflicts there you're having conflicts with your real father It's as if you found out that this is my real father and you're having conflicts about with him because here is the five of swords you're having conflicts with the person the, the, the um, a, a, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn but this is an older person you're ha having conflicts about this older person um, about this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and this person is as if he has lied to you and you're finding out the lies because this um, person someone came to tell you the truth about the situation with your father oh, 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 oh. so it's a lot of regrets that you're having that has to do with father because it's as if some and, and what I'm getting I'm getting a message for somebody out there who his father um, or her father was a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and he is as if he lies if he, he told he told you a lies and it's as if your little sister it's as if your little sister it's going to tell you stuff either that she's going to tell you lies for some people or she's going to tell you the truth about something so uh, but it's regrets it's regrets and you are going to leave this behind and you are going to start anew and you are going to have the ace of Pentacles and the wheel of fortune so again not to worry about this horrible situation whatever it is um, because there's going to be a new beginning for you because 
um, you you are having regrets a whole lot of stuff a whole lot of lies because what you're seeing now is that because the old month of February is that you're in the reverse form a whole lot of lies were told family situation information about your family came out information about your family came out and this little girl is gonna shed light this little girl came to shed light of over a situation oh my gosh this is going to be a situation that some of you are going to have um, you know walk away and step away from your family and you're going to start for yourself and you are going to use the swords to win this situation you're going to receive money and it's the end of a karmatic situation so this is wonderful and this is good for you guys okay I am so sorry whoever you are out there that has gone through this or is going through this in this month but it's good because it's a month of the wheel of fortune so all that was hidden all that was not told all is going to come out and there is someone there's this little girl that you are connect with and she is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and she is going to be telling you the truth about the situation there is a lot of situation that you're going to realize that you're your real father has lied to you your real your you know your biological father has lied to you because you are having some really conflicted and he's saying things or he and your godfather stepfather father-in-law or whoever whoever it is in whatever way is affecting you it has to do between these two men some of you have to deal with a situation between someone who is your real father is um, the king of Pentacles and this is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and something to do with either your stepfather your adopted father or your godfather but there was a whole lot of lies and everything is coming out your whole family story um, the energy you have the energy of blue so it's healing it's the healing energy coming in call upon Archangel Pulchrit with a medicity Archangel Pulchrit but medicity is coming in ask for help they will help you through this situation okay and we are moving forward and we're looking at certain energy that is transpiring and let's see what is happening here and we have the energy of Jesus okay okay all right Jesus came from Venus planet of love he was sent to her to carry the Christ light at a time when the energies was very low he incarnate as an ascent and received spiritual teachings without his childhood his childhood and adult throughout his childhood and adult life then he undertake many in organization to prepare his energy center to carry the vibration of unconditional love this cards remind you that all challenges and challenges people and situation or tests to prepare you for ascension to pass these tests you need to respond to them with unconditional love and balance remember there is only love and this is what I've always tell people so I respond with unconditional love today I respond with unconditional love today I respond with unconditional love today okay I respond with unconditional love today okay so let's move on and see what is happening here let's move on and see what is happening here let's move on and see what is happening here divine masculine the divine masculine so what this is um, teaching a lot of you in this month is to have the divine masculine within you the number 10 energies or here it's a very vibrant the number 10 energies um, a lot of endings a lot of endings and um, new beginnings okay the divine masculine so blue I did say that blue is your color 
the divine masculine um, you also have the number 22 um, energy so for the people whose life part is number 22 this is your month of karmatic cleansing okay this is your month of February of karmatic cleansing so um, if you had up all the numbers in your date of birth and you have number 22 this is the month of your divine cleansing the frequency of divine masculine supports our strong focus and activation side allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom with kindness and wisdom okay so there is a divine masculine that is happening around you focus on this and activate your divine masculine side okay focus on this and activate your divine masculine side and I want to say to each and every person out there whoever you are and whatever they are going through it's going to be okay um, it is good that all the the um, lies are coming to light and all the information there is going to be sadness and regret as to what has transpired but you have a strong foundation and I guess your universal angels and guys are um, revealing the truth to you and this is going to be good namaste until next time